thanks for coming back to my channel to get this week's what's for dinner started off i am draining and rinsing some pinto beans that come in a can and then i am just going to add them to a gas iron skillet with some oil and then i'm going to let them cook down with some chicken broth until they get nice and soft and i'm just adding a little bit of salt some garlic some pepper some cumin and I'm gonna let those just come to a simmer. Oh, and some onion powder. We don't wanna forget that. Next, I am just going to cook this ground beef with two packets of taco seasoning. I let these beans simmer in chicken broth until they got really soft and I just um, added some onions to my taco meat. For the next step, I am just going to put some enchilada sauce and some salsa in the bottom of this glass baking dish and then I'm going to start building the burritos. I have these giant size burrito um, tortillas, flour tortillas, and I'm just going to put a couple of scoops of that taco meat in the middle and then put some cheese in there and just roll them up and then set them on top of that enchilada sauce. I wanted these burritos to be really big. I had been thinking about a big smothered burrito for several days and so as you can see, I'm making these extra large. Now I have all the burritos rolled up and in the pan, I'm just going to pour some of the remaining enchilada sauce on top of each burrito and then top each one with some shredded cheese. I popped these in the oven uh, at 375 until all of that cheese was nice and melty. Meanwhile, these beans are getting thick and all I did was give them a light mashing. And as they sit, they actually got thicker than this and they turned out just perfect. Here I am just putting a little bit of salt on some sliced tomatoes and then we're gonna get ready to make our plates. And here is my plate. I have a side of beans, some sliced tomatoes, and a little bit of lettuce, salsa, and some sour cream on the side. We'll just shake our heads. And when no one is listening, I, I confess. I'll let you in on everything. Even. 
The next night we're having some chili dogs and not everybody likes hot dogs so I have some smoked sausage and some Nathan's beef hot dogs, some green beans with a little seasoning salt, Hormel chili with no beans and some water boiling for some mac and cheese and I also cut up an onion. We toasted our buns in the um, air fryer. We heated up some sauerkraut and here I am making mine. I have a smoked sausage with some chili in the bottom of my bun and I added a little bit of well, a lot of the sauerkraut on top. It just sounded good to me. And so I really enjoyed this. Um, we don't usually eat a lot of sauerkraut in our house, but every now and then I make it fit in somewhere. And this night it was on our chili dogs. And to go with it, we just had those green beans and that Kraft macaroni and cheese. The third meal of the week was fish sandwiches. I was really wanting some fish, but the price of the fish that was available at our Walmart was pretty high and their selection was pretty low. So I just opted to get some frozen Gordon's fish fillets and just make some fish sandwiches, which ended up being a super quick and super easy meal. To go along with our fish, I am making some Brussels sprouts, which I popped into the freezer when I got them in my Misfits Market box. I knew I wouldn't be using them right away and I didn't want them to go bad. So I just threw the whole package into my freezer. And so on this day, I am just getting them out, putting them in an eight by eight dish and adding some uh, seasoning and some butter. I believe on this day I use some nature season. And then once I get the butter in there in um, all sections of the dish so that it's going to melt evenly when I do pop it in the oven, I just then uh, cubed up about a half of a block of cream cheese and I'm just going to set that in there as well. And then once this all gets nice and melty, I'll give it a stir and get it all mixed together. But for now, I'm just gonna put the cubes in there and let it do its thing. Next, I'm adding on some extra sharp cheddar cheese that I shredded up earlier and have been keeping in my refrigerator in a Ziploc bag. This is my favorite way to use up cheese. I like to shred it myself. And then I am just adding a package of real bacon pieces on top of that and then it's going in the oven. I'm just making some of the pierogies that we had left over in the freezer in a skillet with some butter and then I'm just going to sprinkle on some chopped up green onions just for some color and some other flavor. I think that the green onion and the chives goes really well with the potatoes and just going to do just a little bit of seasoned salt for, you know, some extra flavor. You gotta add salt. And here is how those Brussels sprouts turned out. They were so good. Um, big hit. They kind of stole the show. I mean, they were only competing with uh, fish fillets, so there you go. But those little bits of cheese that get stuck on the edge were the best. This was a super easy and quick side dish to throw together, and everybody liked them. When I assembled my plate, I just had some uh, French bread slices that I put some tartar sauce on. I did have some cheese slices and some lettuce laid out too for anybody who wished to have that on their sandwiches. I opted not to have cheese or lettuce on mine, so my sandwiches look kind of plain, but that's okay. That's just how I like them. And these are just really simple, um, no fuss, um, pretty ordinary fish sandwiches and so here's my plate with my pierogies and my brussels sprouts and this was actually a really good dinner for working with what you have
The following night was just Cam and I at home for dinner and I almost forgot to get pictures of what we had. Obviously we had pizza and cheese bread. This was from Little Caesars, not our favorite, but it was the cheapest and these days that's what we're going for. And here's Cam, a little caught off guard by my camera and put on the spot while eating. This is as good as homemade. <laughs> no, homemade is better. No, that's not true. Homemade is way better. I like this. That's not even pizza, that's bread. Cheese. Cheese bread. Mm -hmm. Friday was a really busy day for us, so we were just kind of throwing together whatever. So I have some meat and some seasoning, and I'm throwing in some Italian uh, seasoning as well as some of the nature seasoning with some um, ground beef and Italian sausage. I was not able to film all of this dinner prep because I had a Zoom meeting and we had people over at the same time, but I just boiled up some uh, water to cook up the fettuccine that I bought by mistake, added some olive oil into my water before I added the noodles, and voila, here's the finished prod product. It was super good, that bread was so good. We don't always cook dinner at home on Saturdays, but on this Saturday we did. So I am just putting some frozen chicken wings into a baking dish so that they can thaw out a little bit. I'm going to just season them up with the nature seasoning. If you watch my videos, you know that if I use one seasoning in the beginning of the week, I pretty much use it all week long. So that seems to be what happened here. And so I have this um, wing sauce that I picked up from Ollie's and I just uh, put some of that on these wings, even though they're frozen and they're kind of thawing out right now, I figured we would give them a little bit of a head start and get some sauce on them. And so then I just let them sit for a little while until they were ready to go in the oven. I have some potatoes that were in sorry shape, like they were ready to be planted. So I just got to work and started peeling those potatoes. These are some little yellow potatoes that I got in my Misfit Market box and just didn't get around to using them very quickly. So. Um, I just decided that it was time so we're having potatoes with our wings and I just got to work getting them peeled with a knife I did not feel like fussing with a potato peeler so we will just speed it along and as much as I hate to peel potatoes I do think that this is one of those jobs where you find that you get um, you have to slow down your mind and you can't really multitask when you're peeling potatoes so sometimes that's when you can get some of your best thinking done. The brightest sky I have ever seen The most colorful one I could dream You wake me up with a new white smile Every moment now Hold tight my love We got this after I've got all my potatoes peeled, then I just start cleaning up the peels, putting them back into this bag so that I can toss them and um, get to the rest of the meal prep by getting the potatoes cut up into halves or quarters, depending on how big they were, and then getting them washed up before I get them um, ready to go in the pan and into the oven.
when I have them all washed and sliced up or not sliced, but cut in halves, I then added some seasoning salt. See what I mean by when I use something earlier in the week, it just kind of carries through. So seasoning salt and nature seasoning were the seasons that I used on most of our meals this week. So I'm just going to add some butter or margarine in this case to these potatoes so that while they're in the oven baking, they have a lot of that butter to soak up and get all nice and flavorful. In another baking dish, I'm adding a bag of vegetable medley. These bags are mismatched. I think one's from Walmart, or yeah, one's from Walmart and one's from Aldi's, I believe. But um, anyway, we're just using what we have. These were floating around in my freezer, so it's time to get them out and get them cooked up. And again, I'm just going to season these with this Ranch Night seasoning. I believe this was the buttermilk chicken flavor. They did not have any just plain old ranch seasoning at my Walmart, so had to get what they had on, in stock. And so I decided that I would just go along with that flavoring and add some chicken broth to these vegetables. And my husband really, really liked them cooked this way. And he actually ate seconds. Of course, we're going to add some butter to the veggies as well. When the wings were done cooking all the way through, I just took them out of the oven and I poured off the liquid that was in the pan with these wings so that I could re-sauce them and then stick them back in the oven so that the skin would get crisp. And here's what they let look like when they were all done. I'm just getting everything out of the oven and putting it on the stove top so that we can start serving up dinner. And here I'm making my plate. This wing sauce was really, really spicy, but we like spicy in our house, so that was no problem for us. But anyway, I decided that I would have some ranch with my hot wings so that it would tone it down a little bit. I don't usually eat ranch dressing with much of anything but on this night i decided i needed it just because these wings were hot and that was our last dinner of the week thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it please consider hitting the subscribe button i'd love to have you back again next week Bye.